New this morning, Texas schools are now relying on artificial intelligence for grading parts of the STAR test. Just three years ago, it moved completely online. Jessica Cha has a closer look at how the AI grading works and how educators feel about the change. Kids prepare for this all year. Yeah. This is four weeks worth of STAR boot camp work that you guys should be proud of yourselves for. Testing can make anyone nervous, but especially this year because the Texas Education Agency is using AI to grade written answers on the STAR test. So we just don't know exactly what this is going to look like just yet. The TEA says last year the STAR test was redesigned to have more open-ended questions to reflect how kids actually learn in the classroom. But because of more written responses, they need AI's help to get test scores out in a timely manner. Kevin Melandruckolo is Hayes CISD's coordinator of testing and data. He says this is how it should work. The scoring engine um, is programmed by TEA using around 3,000 um, responses, and they train the system to um, score the responses uh, appropriately. He says 75% of the written tests will be graded by AI, while 25% will still use human graders. And the system will flag things it's unsure of for people to review. In general, I think educators, like most of us, continue to be a little bit nervous about artificial intelligence. The Association of Texas Professional Educators, Kate Johans, says standardized tests are very important for Texas school districts. Well, as far as a child's self-esteem, they impact a teacher's performance ratings, they impact campus ratings. In turn, those all can affect things like property values. Johans, whose organization supports the largest community of educators, says they worry there isn't enough human oversight. She says kids work hard and they don't know how accurate AI testing results will be. The TEA says they'll save 15 to 20 million dollars a year using AI instead of human graders. School leaders say they hope they put that money towards students.